What's up Vicens2, welcome back to the E36 project. Um, in today's video we're doing an M50 manifold swap using the uh, Beamer World kit. I have not done this before but uh, I have a pretty good idea of how to get it done and Beamer World has also provided some instructions so this may be like kind of a tutorial on this. Um, it's not really too bad, there's one bolt in the back that's really hard to get off. I've um, I got the M50 manifold from the junkyard, so I've taken one off before, but I've never had to, you know, had the car run afterwards. Um, so this should be pretty interesting. And if you were new to why we would do this, um, you can see uh, the runners, Let's see if I can, the intake runners on the M50 manifold are uh, quite a bit thicker. I think uh, I read on the internet it's 40% better flow. Not sure if that's true or not, but I'm um, trying to add a little power here with uh, this and some intake stuff to basically get some more air into the motor. Uh, more air, more power. So um, I've done quite a bit already to uh, kind of get everything else out of the way. So I have uh, removed the air box. I've removed um, all this intake stuff, the uh, traction control throttle body, which we will not be putting back on. We're going to be replacing it. Uh, with this Beamer World, Beamer World boot as well. Um, so kind of gonna take the rest of the throttle body off and stuff. We're also gonna take off uh, this piece back here. You can kind of lift this ring tray up, get to a few uh, Phillips heads back there. Um, and I don't think it'll be that bad of a job. So, so we'll get right into the video and I uh, hope you guys enjoy. Comment if you have any questions or uh, things that you think I should do better. And uh, here we go. Yeah, so before we get started, uh, let me kind of show you what came with the Beamer World kit. We'll go over some of that stuff. All right, so before we get into this, I'm gonna go over what actually came in here. And this is our directions and also parts list of what we have in here. We got one silicone hose. This is all stuff to transfer the vacuum lines from the M52 manifold to the M50. Um, some gaskets for uh, the throttle body, some gaskets for the back side. Oh, I don't know if you can see that throttle body gasket. Um, some hose clamps and stuff like that. And looks like a mounting bar, a uh, plate for the throttle body, some other mounting stuff, some looks like some fuel rail mounting stuff. I've, I've seen maybe these work, maybe they don't, so we'll see how that goes. Um, but that's basically what you get for $160 from Beamer World. So let's get right into the video and uh, we'll see how this works. All right, so as I mentioned in the intro, in the intro, we want to get all this stuff out of the way. Um, so we're going to take the throttle body off. This is a 10 mil. Um, I'm going to leave all this other, taking the, taking the intake and uh, the air box, all that stuff off. Uh, I figure if you're doing this, you can probably figure out how to uh, how to get that done. And so, like I mentioned before, we um, I have a gist of how to get this uh, this job done. Um, but we do have those directions from Beamer World, Beamer World, um, if we need them. So now that we got that off, I guess we're going to need a hose clamp for that guy, but we can take that off now. Take the, uh, I guess that's the brake booster vacuum line right there. I don't know if you can see that. So we'll see if this is something that uh, the kit has provided or not. I actually uh, made sure I was grabbed one of these um, clips. All right, got that off. Now we're gonna take off the, I guess it's the crank, crank case vent ventilation. All right, right there. These are uh, similar to the secondary air pump stuff on the Volkswagen actually. Get that out of the way. Um, I'm going to refer to the directions now to see if we should take the fuel rail off first. Um, I did. See, I did see some stuff in a few other people's uh, forums uh, where they 
uh, depressurize the fuel system so that fuel isn't going everywhere. Um, I didn't see that in the directions that Beamer World uh, sent, but uh, I'll take a look at that. We'll see. All right, so I didn't see anything about the depressurizing the fuel rail system, but we're gonna move on and we'll see what happens. So this is two seven millimeters. Fast forward through this. So I cut a zip tie here and here, and I think that's gonna give us the room that we need, I guess. Ouch. So what we're trying to accomplish is to get this bolt that's in the back here of the manifold. So I already loosened all these manifold bolts, and I wanna get to this one in the back, which I'm not sure if this really helped that much. I'm sure I'm doing something wrong. All right, so after looking at this for a little bit, uh, I've determined taking this whole thing off is the best way. So we're gonna start by removing this one uh, windshield wiper. And we're also gonna remove all these plastic screws. Looks like there's four of them. We'll take the whole rain cover off and then we'll take the, uh, I guess the heat shield that goes into the interior. We're gonna take that off too. I think that's, I think that's what you call it. Oh, looks like we have to take both windshield wipers off. You left the door open. I thought I recognized that car. I was like, whose car is that? I was like, I know I recognize the big missing spot over there. <laughs> How you doing, huh? How long you been back? What's that? How long you been back? Uh, 30 minutes an hour? You ain't came back no fucking, I ain't even make no hour to line in. You record? Hi, Mom. <laughs> My bad. You gonna have to clean nah, you're good, I mean. that out. <laughs> yeah, check this out. So. All right, so the next step is gonna be there's uh, two 13 millimeters that hold the two brackets on to the manifold. I can see one so far, so I'm gonna take that one off first. Nice and rusty. Your, uh, here's your best friend on a old car like this. All right, so I'm actually gonna grab this from the top. All right, so I got that uh, bottom one off and I'm working on the other one. I had to take the uh, dip, top dipstick uh, bolt out to get to it. So I'm just getting this one out now. And I think that's all the uh, bolts holding that in. I'm gonna try to pop the fuel rail off. All right, so ready to come out.
That was a pain in the ass. We're starting to get all this stuff over. Um, basically done getting all of the uh, vacuum stuff over to the new manifold with the uh, conversion kit. Um, it went on okay. It wasn't the easiest thing to get on. Um, we still have some like vacuum lines and stuff. So basically there's two vacuum lines we got to put somewhere. There's this line. So yeah, so I'm kind of like going through this and uh, just kind of following the directions. The directions are all right. Um, they're not. They're not great. Um, so then I got to the last page on these directions, and the Beamer weld directions say um, for the air intake sensor to grind down the shank and dye a thread onto it. Doesn't even say. Uh, what thread it is, but uh, I think that's kind of janky. I guess that's the only way to do it. Um, so if you're wondering, for anyone else that has to do this, this is going to be a one. I'm sorry. This is going to be a 12 by one and a half thread. So this is the uh, the old sensor that was in here. So that goes right here. This is off the junkyard manifold. Using our thread gauge, yeah. and then just to kind of double check if that goes in there. So that's what I came up with. Let's uh, let's test it out.